We grew up in an Aussie rules football family. My dad's quite famous back in South Australia as a player and a coach with Port Adelaide and also coached Collingwood for a couple of years ago. So I was playing two sports and decided a little bit better in tennis than what I was at football and decided to give tennis a go at 16 years of age. I was a bit of a battler, not overly talented, but it worked really hard. I think the old school philosophy of uh, um, just working through a bit of pain and being on the court and giving it as much as you can every single time was good in one respect because it gave me an opportunity to compete with some of the best players in the world but certainly I struggled a little bit with injuries. My career was cut short a little bit because of the knee surgeries but had a great time, made the most of it, had some good wins over some good players, got to 22 in the world in singles, 10 in the world in doubles. I wish my career was a little bit longer but one door closes, another one opens and I was able to slide into coaching. Yeah, three different types of players that I've been lucky enough to work with and Leighton certainly I got him as a 12 year old together with Peter Smith who was also coaching him in South Australia. I love the fact that every time he stepped onto the court he left it all out there and, and he loved to get the W, loved to get the win no matter what and that's a coach's dream. I transitioned from coaching Leighton onto somebody that was already an all-time great, a Grand Slam champion and Andre. His tennis IQ is out of this world so I'm pretty sure he taught me more about coaching than I taught him about playing tennis but it was a great experience for me it was five of uh, the most remarkable years of coaching him he, he looked after his team and the culture around his team was incredibly strong and um, I'm still friends with him today which has been a, a wonderful journey for us and then I transitioned on to Simona who's a little bit different coming from a country of Romania, just over 20 million people, and being the biggest superstar in Romania, there was a certain amount of pressure. Uh, she is a remarkable woman. The way that she was able to absorb that pressure, use it as a challenge, use it as a way to get better, and, and then she finally, after losing three major finals, was able to win that French Open. So uh, I know it was a huge moment for her, but I still look at it as my most pleasurable or best moment as a player and a coach is sitting in the coach's box seeing her hold that French Open trophy aloft. It was an out-of-body experience for me and I'm so happy she was able to do it.